Hi, I'm Jennifer Walcott, Miss August 2001. And I'm Nicole Wood, Miss April 1993. And we're here for a good cause. It's Athletes Helping Children, and it's a Playboy Golf Scramble. And Nicole, you've been on our show before. Yeah, I have. Do you have any words of advice to Jennifer? Hold on tight. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Howard's what, awesome. Why do you like talking to Howard? He's, God, you never know what to expect, so kind of got to roll with the punches. You ready for anything today? Yeah, I'm ready. we're ready for anything, so we can handle ourselves. What's up, Jeff? Not a lot, man. What are you doing here today? I don't know. I thought I was here to play a game with some porno stars or some um, playboy Are you going to be able to control yourself today or are you going to be... Oh, no, he's going to be his no, usual pitch not. self. Shut up! I'm going to fucking um, do whatever. <laughs> so can I go in the green room where I can smoke? No. Why not? We'll see about you. I want to smoke. Okay. Everything, okay? Everything! Yeah. Playboy Playmates uh, today, which is always good. Find out what the girls' plans are for the future. Which old guy they're going to marry. <laughs> <laughs> I still say Anna Nicole Smith did it right. She found an old bag who was ready to die, married him, and now could be cashing into millions of dollars. I mean, if you're a hot chick with, with one of those kind of Playboy caliber bodies, you better damn well think about doing that. Because it's sad when the looks go. Right. You know, some girls wait. You know, they wait thinking it's going to last forever, and that's yep. not right. Anna Nicole knew. She hooked up with that old dude. Right away. Yep. Who even knows if she did him? She claims she did, but who even she knows? Strung him along. Mm-hmm. Till he signed on the dotted line. There you go, baby. So we'll find out what the girls. Um, I was reading the girls' bios. One of them met Toby McGuire at the Playboy Mansion. And yeah, he's spending a lot of time there now. Yeah, and she, her comment was, "Oh my God, he was like ignoring me. And he's such a nerd. She didn't even know who he was, and she was like, "Oh, what a nerd." See, she's still at the stage where she's judging guys by their looks. Right. You better Instead hop on of the. What really counts? <laughs> their money. He was in a four hundred million dollars Spider Man movie. And that means more paydays down the road. That might mean you even get to be in the movie if you play your cards right. If I was you, instead of hanging out with like you know some some good looking some good looking dude. good looking surfer in the grotto, I'd be dragging Toby McGuire back there. What could I tell you? All right, anyway, we'll talk to the girls. We'll have some fun, and uh, Jeff's going to come by. Jeff Caro, our favorite guy. Well, he can look at them. Bring in Nicole Wood and Jennifer Walcott. They're promoting something. I, I said they could come in and promote it for Playboy because I think they're uh, sponsors of ours. They're promoting the Hugh Hefner Playboy Playmate Golf Tournament. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard something. Hey now, ladies. Hot chicks, here we go. What's more important than being a hot chick? Now, are you camp counselors? If you two were camp counselors, hey boy, you'd be in big hey trouble now. for smoking weed. <laughs> Take a seat, girls. Nice. Nice looking broads. Nicole oh and Jennifer. Oh, my God. Hi. Now, which of you... Let me get it straight, girls, because you're hot chicks. You both were in the magazine Playboy? Yes. yes. Yeah. And uh, totally nude? Yes. All right, Playboy Playmates of yes. the month. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's important. Oh, I wish Artie was here. He could tell us exactly who they are. Yeah, he's got them all <laughs> memorized. And uh, what's the game plan? You're good-looking girls. I was reading your bios. One of you said, you saw, who said they saw Tobey Maguire at the Playboy Mansion? Oh, I did. You did? Yeah. And you were shocked that he, for such a nerd, he blew you off. Well, he didn't blow me off. I just kind of went up to him and I said, I like the Cider House Rules movie. Mm -hmm. And he was just like too cool for school. So right. it was just a little irritating because he was sort of like a nerdy guy. See, chicks like you who are good looking aren't <laughs> used to nerdy guys blowing you off. It's driving you crazy. And you got to understand that, see, you guys think looks are the most important. For a guy, it isn't. It's his job. He becomes hot once his job is good. See? Yeah, it's not high school anymore. If I saw him at the mansion today, I, I still wouldn't. <laughs> Be interested. Eh, that's your problem. You see, you don't have a game plan in life. You're going to blow it where Anna Nicole didn't. Do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. You do? Mm-hmm. Is he super rich? 
He's gonna be rich. No, uh, <laughs> don't don't go with a wishful thinking. Yeah, yeah. see you screwing up. Sure thing. <laughs> What's the game plan? Do you girls have a game plan? I, I have, have a game plan. plan. What's your game plan? Well, I waited, like, um, I dated, I did my thing, I partied, I did all go that, ahead. and got it out of my system. Now I'm, you know, ready to settle down. Oh, you're down. ready now. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you got a boyfriend? Yeah. What's he do? He works for uh, Nike. That's oh. yeah. works is the wrong word. Yeah. He oh. owns Nike. He's supposed to own Nike. You're a hot chick. <laughs> no, he does well, so I can't complain. He takes good care of me. <laughs> he does take care of you? Oh, yeah. Is he paying the bills? Yeah. He gives you his credit card? No, I have my own. He gave it to Because I, I have my own business, so. What's you know, your business? I have a uh, makeup line and uh, boutique and day spa. Yeah, but that don't pay the bills. Uh, it does. It's How much does that pay? Seriously. I know tons of chicks like, like Scott. I have day spa. <laughs> Scott Einziger's fiance yeah. Maya started her own jewelry business. Right. I know he's paying for everything. And a boutique. Yeah, it's yet to pay off. <laughs> no, I mean it takes time, but yeah, you know, it takes forever. It does. <laughs> you know, it's all right to have that as a hobby, but yeah. we're talking your career. So let me understand your deal with the guy. This guy works for Nike, uh -huh. but is he high up in the company? Um, yeah, he does pretty well. Do you know how what he does? Does he do a couple hundred grand? Um, I don't know about that. Does he work know. with Michael Jordan? He, yeah, he's with Jordan. Okay, he's with, all right. yeah. He's what do you mean yeah. he's with Jordan? He's with Brand Jordan. But that, does he know Michael division. Jordan? Um, he's met him a couple times. Oh, uh, he ain't that high he's up. He's not yeah. that high up. Oh, I don't know. I'm not you know, complaining. Take I away the care of. <laughs> take away the word Nike. He works in a shoe factory. <laughs> no, okay? no, no. <laughs> and it's rubber shoes. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you hot chicks are forgetting. You can't be attracted to the guy necessarily. No, I did the whole actor athlete thing and that's right. not all that it's cracked so, up so me. now you're with an ugly guy who makes a good living no he's not ugly at all <laughs> well, you got it but it doesn't sound like he's making let me understand your deal you get you live with him um yeah all right so he pays the rent yeah okay so he's got a house yeah okay that's a good sign is it yeah. a nice house it's a beautiful house okay yeah. so he's money free and clear or he's got an ex-wife no he's never been married right, no that's baggage good. that's good how old a dude he's 40 40 never been married yeah <laughs> Could be a homo. No. <laughs> what? What is it? No, I was going to talk about Jennifer. You know, Jennifer's made some interesting choices in her life too. She got this boyfriend now, but uh, didn't you have another? Boyfriend? Well, one second, we're getting there. Yeah, we're, we're working. Get, get away on from me. <laughs> Something right. else here. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of in a direction. What is with him? He's your producer. <laughs> I'm just claiming him. <laughs> so wait a second. So the game plan is you're going to marry the dude from Nike? Yeah. Uh, he asked you. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, you're engaged. Yeah. Is it a All big right. ring? I yeah, didn't see it's it. nice. How it's many carrots? Nice size. I don't know how many carrots. It's. Is it real? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Zirconia. I have a promise ring. <laughs> What's That's a promise ring? Big. <laughs> he a promised promise for a bigger ring. <laughs> What's a promise ring, though? Like, like what is that? Like, your friendship ring? Well, he gave it to me because we were going out for a while, and yeah. it was sort of like that commitment because we were living together and stuff like that. But he ain't marrying you. Oh, yeah. We got our names tattooed on each other and everything. Really? Mm -hmm. Where's that? I don't see that. Right here. Oh, on your ring finger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh Can't wait to break mistake. up. Big yeah, look at, look at Angelina Jolie. I'll just find another Danny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all. So the game plan is he's you're living with him, so he's paying your rent. Mm -hmm. He's got a credit card he gave you. What's your allowance every month? I don't have one. Well, you mean it's unlimited spending? Well, he... I don't know. We both contribute... Like, yeah. I'm not, I'm totally, oh, I'm is not. wrong, wrong, wrong. He's asking you to contribute. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying, like, I don't ask him, like, if I go shopping and, like, I buy whatever I want. Like, let's you say know? you want a pair of shoes for 600 bucks. Who okay. pays for that? If he, if I asked him to, he would do it. You have to ask? No, he would say, you know. So he, whatever. so he gives you a credit card and you go out and buy stuff? That's a pretty good deal. That guy's pretty. No, he takes very good care of me. Is he going to make you sign a prenup? No. Oh, you're set. Well, maybe she's yeah, and you're going to have kids, right? Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. You're in, you're in good At shape. least one. So the game plan is to marry the Nike dude. Mm -hmm. He's already got the house. Yeah. He's paying the credit card bills. <laughs> he's he's a great guy. It, it took me a long time. Oh, he seems like he got a plan. Yeah. You realize that's your house. Oh, I know. Okay. I, I moved in and it became my house. <laughs> See, hot chicks have to plan because that's beauty's, right. you know, how long does beauty last? No. You never know. You never know when you're going to hit the wall. And exactly. you want to make sure you're covered financially. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, now l let's go to Jennifer. What did, <laughs> what was Baba Booey alluding to? What's the ex-boyfriend? I don't. Uh, my boyfriend now makes caffeinated peppermints. That's yeah. what he does. Caffeinated for the peppermints. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Does uh, he make a lot of dough? 
Yeah. The three are equivalent to Coca-Cola. It's like Altoids with a kick. I see. And, and he makes no money? Too. Does he make <laughs> any nice kind of Jewish boy. Does he make any kind of money? Yeah. He well he started off with a little bit of money because his dad was a really successful guy. Right. So he had a little bit to start with. Mm-hmm. Now he's gonna squander it on caffeinated right, mints. Which is crazy business. <laughs> what were you trying to yeah. say about her, Baba Boy? Like she was with another guy that yeah. she was really, really serious with. Yeah. And um and and I think he got didn't he get arrested or something? God, how do you guys find out <laughs> this? Hey, I, mean, I, mean, I think he was trying to import two million ecstasy pills. So he must have been like a really yeah. good looking dude. See, that's your bad boy thing. This is my bad boy thing. But the ironic thing is, and this is a great story because that guy is like a complete jerk and he's gonna get what he deserves. But me and the guy that got arrested lived above me and my boyfriend now. Oh, you got arrested too for the ecstasy? No, no, no. I was oh. cleared of I was never charged. Right. I never knew about it. I know that sounds stupid, but I never knew about what he was actually doing. You, you should never know. You just spend the money. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but there wasn't a lot of money for me to spend. So the new guy, he uh, he probably Promises to marry you. Yeah. With a ring. How big is that ring? It's, um, I mean, it's a... What's that worth? Band. Did you get it appraised? Uh, I think it's about 6000 but it's a nice little promise ring. What kind of money does he have? Does he, does he pay he all your bills? He drives a nice car. We live in a great place, and... You living together? Yeah. And, what, oh, and he pays all the bills? Yeah. He give you a credit card? No, we haven't gone that far yet, but I make enough money that, you know, he'll take care of the necessities. Like How are you making money? Head. I work a lot for Playboy. You do? What do you do? Uh, promotions, Playmate promotions. They pay good? Oh, yeah. Yeah, really? they play really good. I Yeah, I mean, I've been doing it for 10 years. What do you got to do? Like, you just go around, but you don't have to show your boobies. Different things. No. no. You just dress hot and you walk around? Exactly. And you play like, different things. Like, we did Super Bowl. We're doing this golf scramble. It's like different. By the events. way, do you understand golf scramble? Why, no, I why? don't know what you're scrambling yeah. for in golf. I, I think Hef's getting a little old. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? They're for charity. No, what do you no, mean golf a, scramble? It's a lot of fun. There's 24 um, tournaments in all different cities, and there's uh, playmates, and then the uh, you can end up at the mansion for a big party there. So mm. you don't know how so. it happens. <laughs> Howard, it's actually a great scam because guys love to play golf, right? Right. right. They love to play golf. And by the way, you got to bring in Jeff because I told him he could look at hot chicks. You this drink guy. hot chicks. No, but but, but guys like to they like to golf yeah. and then they like to have hot chicks around. So, so they what go, do the girls do while they're golfing? They, they just hang around. We hang around, talk to them, like take pictures with them, just socialize. Uh, I, 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 I always feel people. like I always feel like a loser. You when I like going oh, go somewhere and there's hot chicks and they're blowing me off, like you know they're not going to do you. No, but they're friendly to you at these tournaments because that's it's what they're job. paid to do. <laughs> Your job is to be friendly to guys. Exactly. Yeah. So like even if a but guy we want to too. <laughs> even if a guy's a douchebag, you got to be nice to him. No. We have security for that. Uh-huh. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but it'll get you thrown right out, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but they'll hang around. They'll like hand the guy his club and tell him he's great. And, and we'll even drink. play golf. What do you wear when you play golf? Um, I usually wear like a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. Shorts that show your ass cheeks? <laughs> Daisy Duke. Daisy Duke? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Just, do you? <laughs> no, not that short. I'd get kicked off the course. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No one's, oh, there's Jeff. Let him look at you. This guy's a mess. He never gets hot chicks. <laughs> like if this guy showed up. <laughs> hey, you're wearing your, your good cowboy hat today, Jeff, <laughs> for the chicks. Look at you. Hey, you know, brother. Hey. <laughs> you know, brother. <laughs> I'll let you look at him. I don't think you're going to get lucky with these two. Can he go to the golf scramble? You can go. Can you play? Anybody can go. You just have to be <laughs> 21 I go? years old. Can you play? Look, he's got I a gimpy arm. Golf. You got a gimpy arm. Huh? How do you play? How do you play with your gimpy arm? What's that? You got to get <laughs> help him with his headphones. <laughs> hey, you dude. Put his headphones on. Is he drunk? Yeah, he's always drunk. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. Come on now. You guys should just have an AA in the like uh, <laughs> in the green room. In the green room. Some of our best guests are. Drunk. He can't get. He's got a cowboy hat on and he's got a gimpy arm and he can't get his headphones on. He, ref- he refuses to take the hat off. Why? Your hair is bad. He thinks he looks better. Hey, turn that shit up. Oh, hey, don't say the S word. Oh, sorry about that. Don't say Turn the S word. Stuff up, dude. <laughs> oh my God, Come he's on, a mess. Dude, it's cranked as, as loud as it can go. Dude, put on your headphones. Take Jeff, off take hat. off your hat. Take, take off your hat. Take your hat off and put your headphones on. My oh, God. He's got put, oh, your put your hat back, back on. on. <laughs> <laughs> he's got bad hair. All right. Okay, now, okay, now you can hear. Now put your hat on over. <laughs> there you go. Now you look good. Nice. <laughs> All right, I told you you could look at the broads. Look at these two. This is Playboy hey. Tail. Hi. Hey. This is how are you? You're never going to get this. Hello, Robin. Hi there. <laughs> how are you doing? Um, what okay. would you do to these two girls? <laughs> nice, right? I, nice. I can't say what I'd do. 
<laughs> now, what if a guy like this shows up at the Playboy golf uh, scramble? What do they what do? What does it say, baby? <laughs> <laughs> is, this the kind, is this guy your worst nightmare? We can't discriminate. So, <laughs> no, um. But is he like your worst nightmare? I mean, is that the kind of guy that just totally freaks you out? Be honest. Um, Be nice. We've seen worse. <laughs> what happens when girls like you? Do you girls ever like go on a subway or do you ever like, like do guys constantly hit on you? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a constant battle for, I think, any girl, not just playmates. Do you know how to ugly yourselves up so that you don't get hit on when you go certain places? <laughs> or do you just walk around with a bunch? I just don't make eye contact. That's yeah. my thing. If you don't yeah. make eye contact, people Sunglasses. just... Sunglasses. And what do you guys do? They just yell stuff at you yeah, on the street? Yeah, they're rude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, what do you, and your boyfriends, uh, they're not rude? No. no. They're class guys? Where'd yeah. you meet these guys? At the mansion? No, I actually... I knew mine for 10 years, and we kind of constantly ran into each other over the years, and then finally we just went out, and that was it. What's so. his name, Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get anything close to this? Not much. You yeah. can get it on Playboy.com. I can? Uh-huh. I hooked this guy up with <laughs> anal, true. right? You did. Anal with a porn star. Yeah, but <laughs> you know what happened. Yeah, I know. You had some uh, trouble, didn't you? <laughs> That's all right. She had trouble. Well, somehow you I didn't connect. Had trouble. Oh. She did not from what I had. Do dude. Well, I heard you weren't that. <laughs> let's say aroused. She didn't lube it up, okay? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> all right, but let's anyway, go to let's go to uh, let's go to Stewart, who's on our phone. Stewart, you're on the air. Hey, Don't no, talk no, bad no, about me, bitch. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, good, Stewart. Uh, Ask Nikki about John C. McGinley. Who's that? The guy from Platoon and Wall Street, and he's the star of Scrubs right now. Oh, that guy. Oh, God. So what'd you do? No. You banged a bunch of, like, actors and uh, guys in your past? No. I you mean... actor banger, you. <laughs> actor banger. <laughs> and he, but th- th- yeah. It seems like the guys you're with are regular guys, but they got some dough, and they're spending the money on you. Well, the, the whole actor thing, they just they just want to get a piece, and, you know, it's your little trophy on their arm, and... So you guys, so that's your what flavor like of the month. John C. Nice. McGinley? No, he's, ugh, no. Oh, really? No, I did a promotion with him, like, when I was a playmate, like, the first month or so, and he just was What, he totally, he used you? He tried to. He didn't have sex with you? <laughs> no. He yeah. was just a little bit. Not nice? He was just, you know, he just wanted a piece of... Piece you know, of ass. Exactly. Uh, yeah. And, you know, and he's got a girlfriend back at home, and I'm sure she didn't know what he was doing, so... Mm-hmm. I see. Well, yeah. that's very sad, girls. <laughs> so, so it's uh, you girls are off the market. You're going to be married. That's yeah, going to be it. Much. Both of you. <laughs> it has well, to happen sometime. Have. I think I waited long enough. <laughs> yeah. How old are you? I'm 32. What? 32. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> what is Jeff doing? <laughs> Did you girls read what Angie Everhart said about me in FHM magazine? I know yeah. what she I'm, said about what'd she you. What'd she say? Go ahead, tell the girls. She said that you were the you were the best lover she ever had. Ooh. <laughs> That's right. Nice. That's good advertising. I'm going to put it up on a billboard. Yeah, yeah sign it up, man. <laughs> sign you it up. You have a best tattoo lover. on your penis, Howard. I should tattoo that everywhere. Yeah, yeah tattoo it on tattoo. your cock. That's right. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> Don't you know the dirty words, uh, stupid? Oh, Come on, help me out. Your penis. Right, penis. Thank you, doodle do. All right. Anyway, girls, it's called the... What is it called again? The, it's the Playboy um, Playboy Scramble. Play- Playboy Scramble, yeah. And it's... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually for athletes helping children. That's the cause. Athletes are going to help children? Uh-huh. You know what? how they can help children? By staying away from them <laughs> yeah, because they're not that bright. Yeah, and not going yeah. on the strike so the kids can watch yeah. the play. Dumb answers. So you girls never got into any lesbian stuff? Come no. on. And what are you wearing? You're wearing really tight pants. Do you wear thongs or just no underwear? Thongs and no underwear. You no both? Nice. You wearing underwear no now? Underwear. Yeah. Come um, on. What about? What? Jeff. I am. <laughs> answer a question. Jeff, come on. I'm trying to get some sex talk going. <laughs> okay. Sorry. You see blocking me. <laughs> My bad. So so when you girls uh, do promotions and stuff, you never get into bathing suits or anything like that? We do. You do? It depends on what it is. Like in Vegas, when they do the big wet and wild parties and stuff, there's usually like about probably 40 or 50 of us. Either one of you ever do lesbian stuff? No. Uh, Shit. Wait, oh, come on. Yeah. Jeff, I got to throw you out of here, bro. Sorry about that. You're, you're killing me. Sorry about that. 
Do, every time you curse, they hit a button. I know. And, and it ruins my interview. I know. Ten seconds. I was being so a nice guy, letting you meet hot chicks, but now you Sugar. You're, all right. Okay. Jennifer, you did le lesbian stuff? No. I think you did. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, Come on. I didn't. Fess Where's up. Gary with the cash? <laughs> I, know, I know you must have. No. That's up. You attract it to other girls every once in a while? I think every woman sort of thinks about it. Do you ever or think about it? curious about you it. You think about it more than most. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever, do you ever, like if your boyfriend said to you, come on, let's, let's do it with another girl, would you consider it? Yeah, I would. You would? Mm -hmm. Little no. three way, never. Heard I nobody. couldn't bring a third into my relationship. Why? No You'd be too jealous? No, I wouldn't be jealous. I just think that's the beginning of the end. <laughs> but I mean, maybe if you were just to watch us together, but. For I you, wouldn't maybe. Let him do anything. <laughs> but maybe, maybe you're being unrealistic. Isn't it unrealistic to imagine that any couple is really going to be sexually faithful for the rest of their lives? Aren't you ever going to want someone else to have an attraction? So what's wrong with like maybe bringing a chick into bed? Then why be married? Well, maybe marriage is, like, maybe See, marriage. See, I'm not married yet. <laughs> I'm okay. So you still mess around with other dudes? Oh, no. Mm -mm. But you might mess around with a chick. Maybe for him, if that's something he wanted. But you see, no guy can ask for it. You got to just do it. You know, if a girl says to you, hey, um, I, do you want me to mess around with another girl in front of you? What is your answer? It's got to no. always be no. Right. If you say yes, that means you're not satisfied with her. So yeah. the right. girl has to initiate So he doesn't win thing. either way. You just kind of got to make it happen. You got to make it exactly. happen. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You ever take uh, your boyfriend's like strip clubs and mess around with chicks in front of him? I've taken him to strip clubs just because I'd rather him go with me rather than his buddies. Yeah. Right. And if he wants to get his dance on, then I'm there and whatever. Yeah. I, that you doesn't bother me. I don't him, care. Right. Yeah. Right. I'll pay for the dances and everything. <laughs> How long is it? Uh, and and, and uh, Nicholas Cage hit on you? Yeah. Is that right, Jennifer? Me and another playmate. When was this? Last week? No, it was no, because I know he just got married. It was actually, I think it was right after his broke, like he broke up with uh, Lisa right. Marie, and it was at Super Bowl. We had a party at Anne Rice's house. Anne Rice, Anne the writer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it was a big Playboy party, and he was there. Well, we actually we saw him at a club the night before, and Did so we went take over. Care and of him? We talked to him. Did you do him? Did you take we care of him? Uh, a friend and my, uh, uh, another playmate, Nicole, to go back to his place, but we had like an early flight, and we're like, no. He had, actually had his quirky, personal huh? assistant call us. Well, I'm sorry? He had his personal assistant call us. He yeah, did. Yeah, like they, they can't even call you. Yeah. They have to have their Well, no guy wants to be rejected. Call. You have the personal assistant do it. <laughs> it was only five minutes, huh? That's so Hollywood. That well, wait a minute. What happens to when the personal assistant has to go back to you? Let me tell you something. First of all, Nicolas Cage would be embarrassed to have his personal assistant make a call make to a girl. Call, yeah. I feel bad for the personal assistant. Is it a man or a woman? A man. A man. He's no got a call. I know, yeah, that's but guys like Nicolas Cage and stuff don't want to be rejected right. by Playboy in, Playmates. In person, yeah. that's right. So they figure let the let the assistant ask. That way their hands are clean. But, but you got to call assistant, get to have sex with her, and then report back to Nick Cage. Well, if Nick Cage, like that makes it like a business transaction. If Nick right. Cage picked up the phone and started acting charming and stuff, maybe you'd be interested. But right. the fact well, then, of the matter is, he was very charming the whole night. That's what you know threw us off. He was working you the whole night. Like, well, I mean, he was just talking about normal stuff. It was like a regular kind of guy. And then, he was working. My here. friend Nicole was more interested in him than I, because I had a boyfriend, of course. Did you? Uh, <laughs> d do you tell him right up front you have a boyfriend? Yeah. That doesn't matter to him, though. No. I mean, for them, I think sometimes yeah. it adds to the game. They right. want you even more sometimes. Right, right. What, what was uh, one of the lines he used on you? Oh, um... Ever he, seen my well, movies? He another, well, that's it. <laughs> really? He, he, asked, yeah, he asked what our favorite movie was, and we were both Italians. So we were talking about that. We were talking about... What, what your favorite movie is or your favorite movie of his? Uh, what was one of my favorite movies of his? Of his? Oh, oh my God. I had a few glasses of wine. I hope that's what was said. Well, what, so know. what did you say? I, uh, <laughs> Peggy Sue got married? What I liked the um, family one, whatever that one was. I uh, told him uh, I liked that one. What family Moon, one? Moonstruck? No, it was like... Moonstruck. Uh, you should have told The Family him. Man. That's what it was called. Oh, the that one man. you like. You know what you should have said? It was cute. You should have said, oh, I really liked uh, The Godfather or something like that. Something he wasn't in. I'm Italian uh, too, you know. Or just tell him uh, you didn't like any of his. Nice. <laughs> I know, but he was really nice, and you know, the only thing that threw us off was the fact that the personal assistant, you know, called us, and the fact that uh, actually our PR person came over and says, you know, it's times up. You ladies need to walk around and mingle with the other celebrities and guests. Like, Aye. you guys need to leave Nick Cage's little VIP area and do our thing. I yeah. see. Yeah, you have to mingle. Yeah. So you're paid to go to those parties. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. We're paid to have fun. Wow, <laughs> yeah. that's really good. And Jennifer, how old are you? 
I um, I'm 25. You're 25. Mm-hmm. I was good to guess 24. Oh, you're charming. You are smooth. You I know he's it. working it. <laughs> and she's he's Italian only, and <laughs> she's only 29. Hey, you know, talk like that's gonna get you laid, bro. I think you're on a roll. I now. hope. <laughs> <laughs> was Nicolas Cage this charming? Oh, yeah, after a few drinks. <laughs> Let's go to Brett. Brett wants to say something you to uh, drink? two beautiful Playboy I'll playmates. Give you a drink. Brett, go ahead. Okay, Howard, how you doing? I know that. Ask, I, I, ask Nikki about Jamie Leach. Oh, my God. Who's Jamie Leach? Come on, Nikki Killing Pellets. Me. Who's Jamie Leach? Oh, he Come was on, a hockey Jamie player Leach. that I went out with for about three years. A hockey player? Yeah, he played for Pittsburgh Penguins, Pittsburgh Penguins and right. uh, Florida Panthers. Three years? Did you think he was going to marry you? Absolutely not. Did he you drove take me care of his leeches? <laughs> I partied with her uh, New Year's 1991, I believe, with him. Where? In Cherry Hill, New Jersey. What happened? Where? Did you New get any? New Jersey. Cherry it was, Hill. It was actually, it was a house party. Okay. I don't even remember. HP. <laughs> what happened? She was a party girl, let me tell you. What does that mean? What did she do? She was out, shirt off. I was partying not. It out. You were topless? You piggy blood. <laughs> you were topless? <laughs> Honey, what? that's nothing wrong with that. You're a Playboy chick. You're supposed to have fun like this that. This was before Playboy, though. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, you it were came out God. right after that, though. I mean, it's not like you're running for president of the United I States. Know. So big deal. You're okay. at a party. You take your top off. No. You're a fun chick. BFD. <laughs> What's that? Oh, big F and deal. Yeah, exactly. All right, okay. I'm just trying to understand you. I'm saying, what did you want but me Howard, to say? She is, she is fabulous. Yeah, oh, Thank both of these girls you. are fabulous. Man, yeah, I, I would the, like to get... One of them is... Where's Gary with the bathing suit? One of them is fabulous. What does that mean? What does that mean, Jeff? That means one of them is fabulous. Which Hello? one? Oh, are you in love with one of them? The Italian. <laughs> Hello. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, what do you have in your hands? I want that cup. Thank you, Mr. Carl. We have an announcer. We should make Jeff the announcer. What does iwon.com want to say? iwon.com has called me and said that if uh, any of them would get naked, which Nicole has done here before, by the way. Really? No. Yes, you have. You've been here three times, right? And you got topless once, didn't you? Oh, I flashed a boob. That's nice. Oh, well. Don't be okay, embarrassed by that. Know. I'll give you 500 bucks a boob. No way. $1,000 to <laughs> no. flash your boob. <laughs> Two thousand dollars. She's no. reformed. You, oh did it for dear. Free. you did it for free once. <laughs> What's with the two thousand? Can't the two thousand buy us something? Yeah. Can, can will one of you guys get a bikini for two grand? One of our bikinis right on the rack over there. I will. Fuck her. <laughs> what? Two grand to get a bikini, which is something that you guys would probably do on a beach for How free. How much do they pay a Playboy? Not much more. more. Than that just a little. But more. a bikini for two grand. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! We're, Jennifer, you want to say yes cheap. for two grand. You do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Why, why, why won't you get in a bikini for two grand? I don't understand. You're in Playboy. You know why? Because I heard you guys offered a little more to a couple other girls. So I was just trying no. to up. No, this is <laughs> two girls that we can get. Maybe. Either that or two grand to tongue kiss Jeff Currow. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> you couldn't pay me a million. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Skanky ho. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a bad economy. Really, two grand you won't get in a bathing suit. I got them right there. You can even take it with you when you leave. You dumb bitch. Oh, oh. stop oh. it. Oh. <laughs> got two rejected. grand and abuse. That sounds great. Well, Jeff's mad. You I won't gotta, go with him. I got to tell you, Howard, Jeff reeks today. Do you? Reeks. Give him some of that okay, ass spray. I'll, I'll get in a bikini. As long two as grand? it's not a thong. I haven't worked out in a while. I'm not feeling too. Our girls are so upset oh, about their ass. she's got such a cute little body. Wait till you see Give her the thong. She's smoking. Ago. All right, two grand from i1.com. The best Work damn- out. <laughs> the best damn search engine on the planet. Do you guys like have a Brazilian cut or something? What do you mean Brazilian cut? Who knows, no, no, no. Who knows what Listen, that is? For two grand, you're not getting in my mother's underwear, all right? That's right. <laughs> and put that on. Put her in the ba- put her in the bathroom and, and put that on real quick. And they're new and yeah, it's a new. No one's no one's worn them they're clean. except for me. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Don't worry about We can't the wait to see you in a bikini. I can't believe you're paying two grand for a bikini. Yeah, you know what's happening to this show? <laughs> we gotta oh pay two grand for God. <laughs> Jeff, you want to see her in a bikini, though, right? You know it, brother. Well, what are you putting up? I'm putting up five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Tony, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, uh, how they look? Pretty good, huh? Yeah, these are good looking girls. They got nice ashes. You got a nice ass, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hey, girls. Better than you, buddy. Hey. 
<laughs> Jeff, shut up, boy. Hey, hey now. <laughs> what about oh. you girls doing anal? Any of that going on? Any? No, thanks. No way? No. That doesn't happen. That's not in your universe. Mm. Never tried <laughs> oh, God. it? I, no, I... <laughs> No, yeah, uh, thanks. Afraid? 2000 for my one. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> 2000 for my one dot com for anal with Jeff? <laughs> I don't know. I think she's pretty well taken care of this girl. I don't think you're going to get anywhere with her. Did yeah. you see the look on your face when you asked about anal? Her nose got all scrunched up. And <laughs> yeah. it's, like, well, that's, it's just, I don't know. I'm not a girl, but you know what? I would think my nose would scrunch up too. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why any woman does it. I don't know. Some of them like it. Once they <laughs> oh, try it, they it. like it. Some women do like it. They Wasn't find it. Is that attractive? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Ken. You're on the air. What's up? Yeah. Uh, I want to know if these girls would marry their fiancés if their fiancés asked them for a prenup. Uh, yeah. You would? Yeah. You liar. I, I you know what? <laughs> it's hard to believe. You liar. I, you know, I, I'm totally not against prenups Stop at lying, all. Stop lying, Blondie. Because I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff just said. Stop lying, Blondie. <laughs> This is the fiance's uh, attorney, by the way. <laughs> well, let me yeah, tell you something. You girls are hot. Hey, what's going on in the bathroom with the with the bikini? Hey, Come on, on, get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's going on in there? <laughs> what's she what saying? Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, here yeah. she comes. Oh, here good. she comes. Howard, she wants me to help her tie it. Oh, nice. you bastard. Oh. Let Jeff help her. You little bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm all excited now. Uh, at least we get to see her. Two thousand to see her in a bikini. Too bad we can't see her topless. I've never seen her pay that much for a bikini. What's up with that? I don't know. It used to be girls get topless all the time she, in here. She's under I give contract. You five like you can't go do topless. any nudes for two years. Really? What right? do you mean under contract? You with can't Playboy. go nude. Right. For two years, when uh, you first sign your contract with Playboy. Really? Oh, yeah. Wait. Unless it's for Playboy. Do you believe Playboy. that, Jeff? I want to buy that for the world. <laughs> Yes, wow, look at your bod, baby. Whoa! <laughs> and Jeff, you got to see. <laughs> Jeff's eyes are popping out of his head. <laughs> Honey, My you're God. in some shape. Check, you know what? you got to make her do a spin around. you got to see the ace. Yeah, let me see your ass. Come on, turn around. Let me see. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't touch her, Jeff. You get arrested nice. by you, Hefner. <laughs> you got some body, Doesn't baby. Doesn't she? She's adorable. What do you do? You work out or something? I used to. I Probably a lot more better Playboy's than you. Playboy's working me like a dog. <laughs> what was that? I said Playboy's working me like a dog. I haven't had time so to So you don't have gym. time to work out. Let me tell you. What, did you play sports or something you as like a kid? You like your dog I took like style. karate and ballet growing up. Yeah, you're in good shape, yeah. man. Wow. We have to because we're on the that Playboy Extreme team. So yeah. we, we have to. You want to give uh, Jeff a lap stuff. dance? No. No? <laughs> I think that's uh, in my contract, too. No left hand. 1,000 on one No nude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Howard, when she got in that bikini, she just moved up like two notches, right? Oh, please. Oh, yeah. Where did she have to go? How tall are you? My God. I'm about 5'3". Five, 5'3". Three. Five three. Is that why you can't model? You're too short? No, I just never really thought of it. I fell upon Playboy sort of by accident. Yeah, what, what, where'd you grow up? Ohio. Ohio? And what happened? Like, like someone discovered you? Um, I used to do freelance makeup, and I went to the Playboy Mansion to kind of find work. Right. Because oh. I had moved to Chicago for uh, about eight months, and I lost all my movie contacts. So then Hef ended up noticing me and asked me uh, if I ever tested, and I said no. And so they sent me into the Playboy office, and they called me up and accepted me from there. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Does Hef just notice you, or do you try to get noticed? I mean, not, not that it's a bad thing, but did you try to get Hef to notice you, or just he just picked you out of well, the crowd? Well, I mean, what happened with me is I just assumed all of Hef's parties were pajama parties right. and it was in honor of Kylie Bax and uh, it was like this party that was sort of like casual and I showed up in lingerie and that was <laughs> so, it so yeah it was like a sarong and the BBC was there and they were like taking pictures of me and so Hef thought like maybe I was somebody and it drew attention the boobs Did aren't you real ever though right use your mouth on them no they're not real <laughs> the boobs aren't real right uh -uh. who cares I like them what about your boobs? Were they real? Mine are real really yeah my nice. mom was a double D so I doubt like that <laughs> Come on, prove us wrong. Whoop them out. How old are you girls when you lose your virginity? She was she was seventeen and she was fifteen. Fifteen? Oh my god. Nicole, how old were you? I was eighteen. How about you, Jennifer? I was about eighteen too, and I had a tattoo. Lions! <laughs> Stomach, because Not I got a cherry, because I was a virgin until I was like 18, so we all got something that symbolized us. Boy, imagine taking, make, imagine taking these girls' virginity. 
<laughs> just out of curiosity, the guy that got you first, was he anything special? Was he like, you know, or just some guy? Like was he the school? football player in high school who was like <laughs> the dude? Yes. He was? Yeah. yeah. My so. guy dated for a long time. <laughs> Mine too. It's always some alpha male, you know? He was the cool guy in high school. Then he probably got out of high school, couldn't get a job. So she gets rid of him, and then yeah, now she's over. It. You know, it's funny. She used to want to bang the football player. Now she would get, get the guy who won the science fair because he's got all the money. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> See, eventually everybody ends up in a good place. Yeah. All right. Anyway, you two girls are real good looking, and that's the most important Thanks. thing in the world to be is a good looking girl. Ain't that right, Jeff? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is driving you crazy, huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah, me too. I got to go home and wipe off. Oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> How sad. Thanks a lot. Hey, Tom, you have the last word with the Playboy girls. Go ahead. Get that 32-year-old out of there. She is no fun at all. Why is that? Well, but she's got the boyfriend who works at Foot Locker. Right. She, you know, she, doesn't, she doesn't do anal. She's not interested in other girls. I mean, at least play it up. She can't get in a bikini for two grand and she was in Playboy. Jennifer, what about you? Yeah, hey, screw her. I agree. <laughs> hey, Jennifer, what about you? You up for anal? Uh, no. You ever try it? No. Never had any anal fun? Uh-uh. Boy, that's a waste. Never try it? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, listen, we got to uh, get going. Uh, let me give a couple of plugs. Okay, for more information on Playboy's Golf Scramble, I guess you go there and then hot chicks like Nicole and Jennifer hang yeah, out in skimpy yeah. outfits. Can I go? You want to go to the Playboy Scramble? I sure do. I think they had a trip that we were allowed to give away. I think give it to Jeff. Hold on. Jeff, you're going to go. You're going to play golf with your gimpy hands. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll drive him around in the golf cart. I'll, I'll be at the clubhouse. Yeah, you tonight. definitely have to go. At the 18th hole, mother effort. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check out Jeff Curro's website, jeffthedrunk.com. You got he a website a now? Website? the hell out of here. JeffTheDrunk.com. And I want to... Hey, wait a second. I have a website. Can I plug that? Yeah, if you give me another spin in the bikini so I can see your ass again, I'll do it. Oh, look at that. (laughs) Excuse me. JenniferWalcott.com. You could see more. (laughs) Man, I've seen enough. Are you naked on there? A little bit. You're not naked on yours, are you? Semi. Semi. Semi Semi Semi-nude. Nice. Till my contract's up. Yeah. But don't let that stop you because it's still good. It's great. Would you ever do porn? No. Uh, you will. No. Can no, I plug I my site now? Yeah, go ahead. I want to plug Jeff the Drunk dot com. Are there pictures? Taken? If anybody <laughs> that wasn't taken. If anybody wants, that's not an anti-abortion me, site. Please contact me ASAP. I'm ready, <laughs> willing, and able to work. At all appearances, <laughs> and I can sing karaoke, as everybody can see, and I can shoot a mean game of pool. Wow. Hey, Howard, I, now, I, I heard something weird about Jeff. I heard he got three nipples. Is that true? I don't yes, want to know Yes, it that. is. I don't want, that's good for appearances. I'd like to thank Doug, <laughs> oh, Carl nice. FM, and Mike Morris for designing my website all right thank well, you everybody and god bless you <laughs> well very nice I, I think we can send jeff to the playboy mansion although they were they were curious does he come with a chaperone or a dog walker or something <laughs> <laughs> well you're the leech all right jeff you can go to that and i want to thank the girls go to playboyscramble.com nicole wood jennifer walcott two hot chicks well, they'll cost us two grand to get Jennifer in a... Uh... You know what? This is one of the few times that it was really, really worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. How much it costs for sex with you two? Let's get a price. Is, I... there, a, is there a price? Yeah, how much... It, how Give much... us a price. Oh, wait a minute. Spitting on me. <laughs> yeah, Give us here. a price, baby. <laughs> is there how, a much, price? how much for you to have sex with Howard? Yeah, how uh, much does it cost? Uh, there's no price on mine. My... <laughs> wait, wait a second. He's not a bad looking guy. <laughs> yeah, yes, I am. Uh, no, there's no price. Yeah. She's how about Oral? Uh, uh, nothing for you. It's free, huh? Let's go, baby. All right. Okay. Listen, we're going to... Uh, how about a million dollars for one time? No. Come you wouldn't on. do it? No. Nope. Half a million. What Come about in. you, Nicole? A million dollars one million. time. With Five you? bucks. Yeah. Sure. There you go. <laughs> All right, half a million. All right. Oh, call the i1.com. Tell them I need a million. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, Would you take that over a 40-year annuity? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, payout. Okay, we're going to take a uh, break. And girls, good luck with your uh, playboyscramble.com. Good luck Thank with... Uh, Thank you. Having- well, goodbye, everybody. And jeffthedrunk.com. <laughs> I, uh, am I going to send in for the news? Uh, oh my goodness. We'll see. We'll see. You keep you drinking. Maybe we, maybe we'll talk about it. <laughs> Sit nice. For a while. We'll right. talk. <laughs> we're going to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. 
Jeff, what did you think of the girls? I love the girls. I love the Italian chick. Nice. You're going to the Playboy Mansion. Nice. I can't wait. I want to meet half. Jeff, are you crazy? Were you upset that the girls were a little grossed out by you? Eh, I didn't give a shit. All right. Fuck them. Over here. I'll write it. No, no, see how it's Ladies, how do you think everything went in there? Oh, I thought it went awesome. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. And I'm $2,000 richer. Rare? Was it worth it, Jennifer? Yeah, why not? Now, Nicole. Yes? How come, how come you wouldn't get topless for us? Topless? <laughs> I think I've showed my breasts enough through the years, so. Come on, you can go onto the website and check it out. So. You can't flash this real quick out here? No. <laughs> well, what did you guys think of Jeff? He was interesting. Jeff yeah. was, uh... We, we're going to get to spend more time with him at the mansion for the golf scrambles. Yeah, so hopefully we'll give can... you guys an update. <laughs> Come on, Jeff, here he comes. Yeah. Hey. How's it going, girls? Good. <laughs> Look who's here. Jeff, you're going to get to go to the mansion with these girls. Very nice. <laughs> Do you have any final words for them at all? You're just take I it can't home. wait. When are we going? Now. Let's go. Right now? Let's go. Nice. <laughs> I can't wait. When is it, dude? Next week? Hey, Jeff, are these, the hottest, are these the hottest two girls you've ever seen? She is definitely <laughs> My God. What are you looking at? I'm looking at you. Oh. I think there's a no touching policy. <laughs> well, there is. When there, there was, and I think it's still out here, yeah, too. Yeah, but no, it don't count. Yeah. Why don't you go through those doors? <laughs> it's all off limits. Oh, nice. oh Jesus. <laughs> then we're out of here, Howard. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. <laughs> all right. You scared of me again. Oh, well, I didn't mean it. <laughs>